Peter Taylor, welcome to the Tony Wiggins Show. Yeah, thanks, Sammy. Thanks for having how, me on. How serious is that? Oh. The intro. Normally we come in laughing and, and going on, but uh, today a little bit serious. Oh, sure. And uh, how, how good to have you in the studio. Uh, you're in Studio R. <laughs> it's great to be here, Tony. I've been here before, but uh, certainly you've got a great studio at the back of your place. It's really great. Thank, all you, the technology. thank you, thank you, thank you. First question to hit you with, and uh, first up, I haven't said Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Yeah, thanks. Um, and, and Happy New Year to everyone. Yeah. Uh, 2012 is underway, and one twelfth of us already gone, which is unbelievable. Isn't We're it? really looking, looking forward to this uh, fantastic year to be a, a, a highly positive one after our last 12 months, and um, so far, so good, thank God. Yeah, it has. I think we've made a great start in 2012. How long have you been there of Toowoomba now? Yeah, well, we're entering into the uh, to the fourth year. By uh, the end of March, it will be uh, yeah, four years in okay, office. So which is roughly four years. Yeah, it's getting getting that way. It's, uh, it doesn't seem four years. It just seems a very short period of time, and, uh, and a lot happened in that period of time. All right. Uh, your time as mayor of the Toowoomba Regional Council, and may I add that it's been a, a tough one because of all the changes that were in place that, that you inherited first up. How do you rate your last four years? Oh, look, I think that's now, right. We're going out of ten here, by the way. Yeah, no, look, obviously I'd like to give myself a high mark, but that's... Uh, that's are you, like, are you that's saying ten out of ten, are you? No, no, never. No, when you look back in hindsight, there are always things that you've done and, or could have done, and uh, in hindsight's a, a marvellous uh, tool, isn't it, to look back, you think how you might have responded, and yeah, I'm thinking of some of the really big things, like uh, you know, the flooding and the like, uh, how could I have done it better? hindsight, uh, could, have, could have responded in a better way than we did. Um, and I'm not just talking about the City, uh, I'm talking about a whole region where we've got uh, you know, 37 towns plus a big city of Toowoomba, 13,000 square kilometres, 10,000 kilometres of roads, those sorts of events. Uh, you know, I look back and I've certainly reflected and I, yeah, it was a very serious, you know, a life-changing period in my life uh, to stand in the middle of the CBD. I was here when it all happened here, I was out in the regions across the whole region. It's something in my life I'll never forget and obviously I reflect on it quite often, particularly now when I talk to people that are still recovering from that event and we're still rebuilding and, and I don't want to dwell on the flood because no, I think Warm is a really positive place and our whole region is going really well. Alright, let, let's take away the flood issue. Let's talk about uh, the rest of the time that you've been there for. Um, when you say that it's been a really more or less a learning curve, hasn't it? Um, because it's it's you inherited Mr. Beattie's idea and then he ran away yeah. and left it all for us. Yeah, and, well, and, and, and just give people an idea of the enormity of the size of the area. I mean, we tend to forget really how, how, how big it is. Yeah, well look, we are the, for those who don't know, we're the largest forced, forced amalgamation in Queensland. We were given eight previous local governments uh, on a plate. Uh, with, uh, people didn't have a say about it. Um, people didn't really like it, and nor did we. Uh, as the first council, we were handed this job uh, by the state government. We are a function of the state, uh, even though we didn't like it. We had to get on with it and do the very best mm -hmm. we could. So, in, in a business sense, we were given eight separate corporations with many, many differences to make the best we can. And obviously, when you put eight different communities and corporations together of such a vast area, uh, as I said, 13,000 square kilometres, 160,000 people, uh, different cultures, different work environments, uh, it, it's been tough going. On the other hand, I think there have been some major um, improvements. We've brought together the, uh, the organisations. We have now uh, a single um, operating system. So we have common finance systems. We have uh, a first in Queensland, a first in Queensland town plan for our whole region. Uh, we have a CBD master plan where I'm standing and speaking to you today. Oh, don't start me up with that. No. So look, you know, there's been great, <laughs> great progress. I mean, we started with 17 different industrial agreements. Now, you know, I know there's a union discussion about now, what's the best outcome? But we, we have we have brought our organisations together. Uh, we've made major improvements in customer service. We've built new libraries. We've built new, you know, water supply was challenging, but that's now fixed. That big debate that divided our community is over. Sure, it costs some money, but we've fixed it. We've built new roads. We've built. And it's been fixed forever, hasn't it? Really it has. It, it, it has been, can it? Whether it rains or not, it's been fixed forever. For the next, uh, yeah, well, I would say forever, but at least for the next 50 years, we've got a plan. Uh, we've also now got a single point of contact with a new customer service centre, which is a better way now that we respond in a, in a disaster if we ever had such a thing again. Can I ask you a question? Someone living in Crow's Nest with a problem, how do you say to them that it's okay, give that phone number a ring and we'll be there? 
to, to tidy it up, to look after you, to, to fix the problem. Can you say that with with confidence now? Look, yeah, along the way sometimes. Because that's been the problem from people that I talk to. Yeah. They said, look, we just can't get anything done. It's just too big. These guys can't spread themselves around like they, they should be able to, but they can't. I mean, they're only human. And, they, and most people do understand that. What do you say to that crow's nest person? Yeah, look, look to start with, all of our regional centres still have a certain centre. And we're certainly not going to centralise everything in Toowoomba. In fact, it's a decentralised model that we want. But we have to have common systems and consistency. You can't have uh, one sort of level of service or rating system for people that have got the same sort of service. So, yeah, look, whether it be swimming pools, whether it be parks, whether it be libraries, we're trying to bring some commonality, yet not everyone be the same. But if someone's got a problem, uh, yes, there is a, a 1300 872 number. Uh, but still, we put that back to the local level uh, to actually uh, fix that problem at the local level. Because we have work gangs in every area that are still doing the work. They're still fixing the roads, they're running the water, fixing the parks or mowing the parks. Yes, they might be a bit behind or, you know, we'll have a bump of the road or, or a complaint. But we had that previously. We don't, however, have eight mayors. We have one mayor. Then we don't have 60 yeah. councillors. We used to have 60 councillors. We've now only got 10, so these guys are very, very busy. Uh, look, and if I can just finish on this note, the state government has made a decision to go from local government to regional government. I now represent, as one mayor, or the mayor of the future, also represents um, up to five state electorates within our region. Now, they're not total electorate, we have five state members within the Toowoomba Regional Council area, either in part or whole. So, We've moved from local government to regional government, not of our choice, not of the community's choice, the state government made it. Yeah. They made it. Thank they you, did. Mr. Beattie. <laughs> well, yeah. It's, yeah. And so we, we were handed this uh, this challenge, to, and it was our goal. I mean, there was a council of mayors elected almost, five uh, previous mayors, four deputy mayors with a lot of experience from each area to make the very best of it. And yes, we've had plenty of challenges, but I certainly believe our team of councillors and, and uh, officials are working really, really hard to do the very best they can for our community. Can I give um, an example, please? I mentioned that particular problem before. You were in here about oh, six to seven months ago having a cup of coffee, and at a particular time this uh, gentleman walked up to you and told, told you about his problem that he was having in front of his yard in Perry Street. Mm. Now, I want to tell people out there that you personally went to his place, had a look at the problem and had it fixed up. Yep, okay, thanks Danny, yeah, but see, I'll do that, but unfortunately... But you can't I can't be there for every but, but I can't talk to 160,000 people every day, I'd love it if I could. But specifically wanted to mention that particular episode because I don't think uh, a lot of people would know the Peter Taylor that I see every day, yeah. uh, or every second day, because you live downtown, um, and I think it's important that they do realise that uh, you, even though you're the mayor of the regional council, you're also a human being, so you have feelings too, and you, you get to and get the job done if you can do it. If you can be there, you've, you've been there. Um, Thank, thanks, Sam. My relationship with you, you're a good man, you're a good family man, and um, you're an easy person to talk to, and um, I would advise anybody sort of running into Peter Taylor to pull him up and have a chat to him. You, you love a chat. You're a, a typically country yeah. person. <laughs> I do. You don't, I, you don't mind a chat. I do. Look, I, and I might say I used to live out in the country. I was born in Gundawindi. I've grown up in, in a rural area. But I also lived in the city as well. So there's two sides to me. And as a result of this job, I actually had to leave living 40 minutes out of the city because of the amount of size of the job I had to move to the CBD, which I am. So I'm close to the work. I'm in front of the coalface. So I'm I'm not ducking the hard issues, I'm right there every day and I'm on the street where I can be and I get to the rural areas as much as I can. We're going to finish up but uh, Paul and Joe will be coming in to have a chat to me as well and uh, I'll be putting the same questions to them as, uh, as I have to you. Um, just before you go, Joe Smith listening to us this afternoon, um, tell him why he should vote for you as, uh, for Mayor at the next Toowoomba Regional Council elections. Look, I've got a great vision for the future. I, I want us to be the very best region in the whole world. That's my big global view. It's a clean, green city, but it's also a magical region in our whole region. Very productive, great place. Uh, it's great for a family. It's great for a job and a workplace, a lifestyle. I want those things to be improved and enhanced over time. And certainly, they're my goals. And how do we do it? We've got a lot of projects uh, lined up to actually 
make that lifestyle and maintain those safety and those issues in our whole community. I think I can do it. I work non-stop in doing it. That's a seven day a week job. That's what I do. I don't complain. I just love doing what I do. But I certainly need enough support next time around to be able to do it again. Thank you for coming in. And Peter Taylor, good luck. We will talk again before April, I'm sure, at least a couple of times. I'm sure I will, Tony. <laughs> Thank I love, you. I love being in Studio 3, by the way. It's a great one. I'm just about to ring your wife up to tell her to listen to the show so she can hear what you said about <laughs> your first kiss. <laughs> I'll, 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 I think she might know somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Good on you. Thank you, mate. Thanks, Tony.